reality is a very beneficial force for reform because as it stands, if we just stay with the status quo, which is essentially what Obama has been proposing, or actually doubling down on the status quo, um, you will just all go to hell. <laughs> and um, you know, people keep saying, you know, you know, Paul Ryan is proposing ending Medicare as we know it. Um, well, of course he is, because Medicare is insolvent. And you know, I mean, if your if your plane was a looked like it was about to crash, if one engine was out and the other one was smoking, wouldn't you want some intelligent person who knows something about avionics to get up and say, "Hey, why don't we change this flight as we know it, um, and land it, you know, or make it work, or fix the plane, or something?" Um, but as it stands right now, uh, the Democratic Party is got its head in the sand about this stuff, is in total denial, um, and. Obviously, everything would be better if we could fix it sooner rather than later. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, the Tea Parties may just end up being the canaries in the coal mine. But it's going to get fixed one way or the other. It could be after a terrible sovereign debt crisis on the Greek model, or it could be after some painful cuts, or it could be after some healthy reforms where we streamline the task code and, and get some market forces into these entitlements and all of the rest, or probably a mix of all the above. But I, uh, it's or maybe not a mix of the sovereign debt crisis, I hope. But, uh, you know, um, the, the Tea Partiers are at the forefront of where the historical trend is going. And um, it would be nice if Obama could do a sort of Nixon to China thing and recognize this and show some real leadership. But instead, uh, you know, he is he's tying himself to the mast of 1960s style liberalism. And, and um, I hope politically he goes down with the ship.